Oh, hey, I found titties. Shit. What? And you're not gonna Happy share? Ego. We're on film. Can't I'm playing a Pokemon game you. right now, so... Uh... Hey, 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 hold on, let me just, I'm a... Hold on, let me, let me actually like, try to find a good Let's image. See, I should probably... What game are you playing? Me? Yeah. Right. Yep, I'm playing the uh, the Pokemon yeah, trading card hey, game that know. lets you like collect the cards and then you can also fight with them too. It's like the oh, newest Pokemon. It's really sorry fun. Sorry to hear that. What? Hey, you guys, you want to see I'm a great I'm sorry joking, I said sorry to hear that. No, not see really. Some great vegetables. If I want to see yeah, that, let's look down. Wait, why is Yukari here but with no social No, link? no, this is a different kind. This is the one. Uh, this is the one I'm allowed to. Ex this is the one I'm allowed to. Ex um, like send a picture. Up. Look at BC we chat. We didn't finish her social link. We're on like rank six with her or something, aren't we? You sure? Oh, no, Seven. Close enough. I'm just that good. Uh, oh, no, 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 no. Hello, hey, hey uh, Chen. Um, I, I hope you don't mind, but um, I, I don't really want to hang out at the moment. There's something I want to do. Sorry, would you mind if we talk about this at the dorm later? It's kind of private, but I'm gonna need your help. I guess I could wait. Thanks. Just let me eat my bag of chips. Oh, here. so that's oh, oh, she's gone. Yay! I won. I like the <laughs> idea of him just having to watch her just leave. And he does nothing. He just stands in place, staring where she was. Wait. Doesn't even bother to move yet. his head. No, not at all. He's just staring at the place where she was. <laughs> eh? What is it now? Come to mug your fellow of a leader once again? Well, go ahead. Laugh. <laughs> Laugh at the tragic clown you once called a ruler. <laughs> See the blissful suffering in her eyes as everything around her falls apart. But her flounder, her foolish idiocy, uh, what? Uh, idiocy. Idi idiocy as she eats her melon bread. She joined the show, a tragic circus of comedy, misery with, with I as the leading act. Actually, I just wanted to hang out. Hang out? Yeah. Ha! <laughs> you fool! The joke's on you! I only hang, hang around with people who have IQs five points within my own large. A swollen IQ? Uh, 112. <clears throat> come back and speak to me when you think your brain is large enough, enough to com complement mine, Howard. Look at my grades and then come back to me. Um, I'm eating my bit of bread. Or Ashley. Um, actually. You know, IQ doesn't necessarily indicate the practical intelligence of a person, right? Talking. Um... Bro's just talking like me now. Of course. Yep, I was just testing you. Now follow me. Right now. Uh oh, okay. Uh oh. Sounds about to die. Something uh, is gonna happen. Oh man, I finally my social link. Sound effect would have been perfect. Why? Why shouldn't have him tied up would be funny. Huh? Oh. Wait, what? What? Uh, pause? No. Pause? Hold on, oh. can I go slap you and pay real quick, Mitsuru? Okay. Alright. Ah! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> that was my uh, I, 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 I had to like, go all the way at the end of the other side of my room for that. <laughs> I had to like, scream to my matted wing. I slap summon Wes. Is that good? <laughs> I'll, I'll, be, I'll take that laughing as a yes. That was amazing. <laughs> Thank you. A magnifique. Okay, we're back. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, 
<clears throat> so, your name is A, A, correct? We've been living in the same dorm for several months. Nowhere. It was simply the only way I could think of to start the conversation. For you see, I brought you here today to make you an offer. I've been pondering this for a while, and I believe I've reached a set of stars that could greatly benefit the both of us. It's a somewhat unique offer, the kind you'll see only once in your in a life, in a lifetime. <clears throat> it's also worth noting that you're currently the only person I'm doing this for. I need only someone with your particular construction could handle such a thing. So, if I were you, I'd pay careful attention to everything I'm about to tell you. And if you want my honest opinion, you'll have to be an utter buffoon not to take it. Will you hear me out? Yep. I guess I'm interested in hearing you out. Let me finish my bag of chips. A wise choice. All right. Now, allow me to explain the terms of my proposal. You, eh, are said to be the first and perhaps the only participant of a new project I I've developed. I'm designing it in such a way to both maximize our efficiency during combat, as well as to promote the social and mental well-being that Takeba and my father got so uppity about back in the early days of seas. Honestly, it's quite an ingenious idea, even by my standards. But I'll leave the fairness and quality up for you to decide. The objectives I use to describe your opinion may vary depending on what you express that opinion to be. But now that I've sufficiently built it up, I suppose it's about time I introduce the project. I present to you... Oh my god! Gambling? What the fuck is so this? Let's Fun go gambling! Program. Holy shit, it's a thing from intro one. Yeah. Oh we finally got to it. Oh my. Oh man. Yes! This is a unique program with you, my subordinate. I gr is granted a position in which you gain the ability to socially interact with I, Mitsuru Kiricho. In this creative system, we both <laughs> not only get to experience the choice of human interaction, particularly the choice of interacting with me, but many other benefits as well. As our friendship deepens, so do the rewards. In the early stage of the friendship program, communication will be mostly limited to small tech and casual conversations. <clears throat> However, there's an added risk factor of accidentally oversharing about my insecurities to keep things interesting. But as the friendship program progresses, more opportunities will arise as you are giving insight about into my lifestyle and some of my hobbies. Once again, with the other risk of me occasionally talking about all my issues. But I digress. There are many more benefits as, as you climb higher up the gilded ladder of benevolence and friendship that, it, that is I. High level, gold member of, French, of friendship program will receive exclusive benefits such as being able to experience my private bathroom and witnessing the inside of my living quarters. Better yet, top tier platinum where I get to learn all about my deep emotional turmoils and how they shaped me into the monster I become. And yes, you heard right, all these benefits and more will, will be yours simply by offering me your friendship. Please, please offer me your friendship. Well, you make a convincing argument, Senpai. I'm aware. Just give me your answer, eh? The answer? Hold up. <laughs> Say that again? You said the answer? <laughs> <clears throat> yes.
Keep in mind, however, that you might find the, nine, the 90s deal to be slightly problematic. You see, the door's locked and only I have the key. Meaning that if you turn this offer down, you'll be locked in this room with me for as long as, for as, long as it, it'll take me to stop crying. <laughs> and be warned, I cry in a loud way that makes people feel highly uncomfortable. And I can do it for hours. Now I'm just going to jump through that box and go to the yarn dimension. Oh. I'd be glad to accept it, Senpai, on one condition. Yes. <laughs> Can we rename it to Mitsuru Kuruja's social link program? Absolutely not. Alright. Friendship is cool! I am thou the heart! <laughs> Rank up! Rank up! I can't believe Mitsuru Rank. beat everyone to those streaming services. Pathetic. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm glad you were able to see things my way. From today onwards, the friendship program has begun. The program will develop across multiple meetings. However, so will cut this particular meeting off here. Alright. Bye. Friend. What day of the week is it? Uh, it is Friday, November Not 8th. Wednesday. <laughs> You're back threatening late. We just talk. And? Hey, uh, hey, um, uh, about that thing I wanted your help with, uh, w would you mind if we took it this upstairs? I, I don't want anyone hearing us talking about this. Uh, can we get in trouble? Sure. Ow. Oh yeah, don't mind. Oh no, they're gonna hold hands. Oh no. no. Anyways. So, um, Echan, e the reason I wanted us to meet up at this rather uh, at their school is, um, I just really wanted some water. Honestly, you see that water cooler over there? Have you noticed how it's like an infinite resource? We tried, oh, you've already tried it before? He oh. has a call of the Joker on. I... You, you, you remember how I said I wanted to physically become one with Mitsuru? She said that? Uh, uh, oh, uh... Oh. Wait, when did that happen? Oh, oh, I, I think I remember that. that. She, Yukari says things. Yeah. I am. Um, I, I know it's kind of sudden, but I, I got a lot of complex emotions sewing inside me. But one thing I'm sure of is I don't want to keep dancing around the issue like I have been. I want to be able to look at Mitsuru in her scary, glassy eyes and really be upfront with her for once. I'll say those three life-changing words that everyone has trouble saying. You're unfairly hot. Because, uh, just maybe, the reason she was such a massive, tyrannical, egotistic back in the day is she wanted a girlfriend. Badly. Well, it sounds like you've got quite the evening ahead of you. I'll lend you my MP3 player so you can play a romantic song that has a special significance to both you, both of you during your confession to make it all the more powerful. Although, come to think of it, the only song I have on my MP3 player that both you and Mitsuru and I know is Mass Destruction. I 
I guess you can make it romantic if you use it wrong enough. Uh, hold, hold on! You can just leave it all to me! I need help with this! I I've got a plan, but I, I need a little help. I thought, I thought confessions of love were meant to be tender, touchy moments shared between two individuals and nobody else. Well, uh, normally. But, uh, y y you have to help! Seriously, uh, Jupe said he'll defend me in court if I actually killed someone, you know? Well, when you put it like that, I guess it sounds alright. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> alright then, so, about the plan I have. And you, you can't laugh when I tell you this. I can't laugh. Right. But what I was thinking we could do is... And that, that, that's it! So? Isn't it great? I got the idea from this weird movie I watched with Fuka one time. Hmm. I... I don't normally like to judge things too strongly, but... That's a good idea? See? I knew you'd like it! But, we don't have time just to sit and talk about it. We're on a limited time schedule. We gotta make our move now! Tonight's gonna be our champ- one chance! So, let's make this count! Uh, for- for Masira's sake. Right, let's embrace that burning erotic passion that haunts these chambers of love. Don't say it like that. Ever. Sorry. Oh! What? No. What? Uh oh, yes. <laughs> Says being Lex. Oh, you What were you pushing? <sighs> ah, sorry. What is the meaning of this? How did you even get me all out this far without me raising any objections? Well. Uh, Monsieur Senpai, um... Would you care to explain why you were so desperate to bring me out here? I am... I am a very busy person full of very busy things to do. Which means I need a good night's sleep, which you are currently preventing. Tell me... The exact meaning of this before I think of any mean in insults for you. Well, it's actually, um. Yes. It's um. <laughs> Do you need me to remind you how to speak? Is that what this is about? Ah, uh, well, no. Oh, and your face is incredibly red, too. You look ill. Well, I, I guess I'm sick, <laughs> in a certain way. Mm, uh, Takeba, if you are about to confess to, to having Rosa Sea, I'm not going to be happy. I wonder what that is. I don't know. But first of all, there are multiple people you should be telling before telling me. And secondly, we didn't have to come out the way to the school just to, just so you could talk about your skin conditions. Oh wow, your insults are just as sharp as ever, Miss Garijo. What? But that's just one of the things I learned to love about you. The angry, bitterness, hiding a pathetic, lonely person is kind of endearing. Hi, 
beg your pardon? Then beg. I beg your pardon? Mitsuru Senpai, I know we've had our differences, but there's something I wanted to tell you. Um, I feel that one out. And I, I know you might not want to hear this, uh, but it's the truth. And you have the right to know how I feel. Um... I'm, I'm only going to say this once, okay? So I want you to listen closely. Ready, Achan? Five, six, seven, eight. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, yes. <laughs> ah! Also, what I miss? Oh, no. no. Oh, oh, God. My God. Oh, my God. Wait, Love is pushed. in the air. Oh. I'm finally being punished for my sins. Hmm? Oh, oh holy where the shit! Comes in. That's God. where it's from. <laughs> um, may mercy be cast upon me. Tonight, I'm conjuring the most kind of stupid overconfidence and normally cheap bacon muster. All for you, Mitsuru. And to make sure you're getting warm welcome for my backup singer, Glittering Moon Idol Edgeon. Hi. <laughs> what do you have a minute, bitch? <gasps> oh, Mitsuru. Oh. <laughs> Isn't that crazy love can come such an unlikely place? Unlikely places. <laughs> Don't you think it's crazy? I don't know how the actual song she's singing. Don't you think it's crazy? Hard love can suffer the burning hate. Burning hate. Whoever loves is a hater. Oh, Mitsuru, <laughs> I can still feel the pain <laughs> when you make me fix your bike in the rain. But even that, I know you're kind of a bitch. Uh, you're still pretty rich in positive things. So please, Mitsuru, hope in your heart it's gonna be all right! What? Your heart? You wanna fit? I'll feel love like a shopping cart! Starting to wish we spent more than 15 minutes on the lyrics. And after night, the hog is tied! I feel any other orphans you may have had to do this kind of thing! I'm not. Fuck! Oh, Mitsuru! <laughs> I don't really miss your wrist, wrist breaking grip, and this finger whip only a bit. But you wouldn't believe the kind of joy I feel when I see you sit alone at the dorm, drinking coffee and reading books and doing all the other kind of Mitsuru things. Oh, Mitsuru! I was used to you whipping me. But now I think it's kind of clear that this is stripping me. So, Mitsuru, would you please <sighs> step on me? I told you it was freaking. When does this become uh, available on Spotify? Uh, <laughs> Leak that shit, I'm gutting you like a fucking fish. Slurgy. We also I'm brought you produce. some tear proof mascara. It's the high end stuff, too. <clears throat> well, I. Was centrally not expecting that. Uh, uh, wouldn't have imagined you felt that way, Takeba, especially after all the altercations we've had. But I su suppose I have something I need to confess as well. Uh, yes. 
Please tell me she's not gonna break down in the song too. Did you see Jinbei pop up? <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm here. Oh wait, um, shit. Huh? I, I really don't do things that way with other women. What if I kill myself in front of you? God, fucking. What if I splattered my brains against the school dorms? <laughs> what? <laughs> Are you? How? Yes, I'm quite surprised too, honestly. I was certain that I'd be into both sexes, at least, but alas, straight as a ruler. If you don't believe me, I understand. Honestly, I'm not sure if I buy it myself, but I've experimented to I I've experimented to be to the best of my abilities and yet nothing. I feel like this is the Super Fans Ghost 911. So, if there's nothing more you want to add, I think it would be for the best. We both forgot this night ever happened, Takeba. Well, I guess I should return this ring. If you'll excuse me. Let me keep it. I'm gonna. I wanna eat it later. What? Uh. Uh. Oh, free. Are you kidding me, Mitsuru? You just shot that down. Yeah. Man, that shit was us. That shit was us. <laughs> I. Right, I five headed the fuck yeah, out guys. of that. Oh my god, what did I, I wanna just kill do? myself so bad. Danu, Holy I am shit. not remixing that. I swear I to god. I love this. <laughs> I am Remix not it. fucking touching that. I am not touching Wait. it. Change I swear it. to god. <laughs> Zero MV will not have a remix. I swear to god. She wasn't worth your time anyway. You can do both of Yukari. I I know it. Hey. Uh, it, it, Chan, do you mind if I borrow your pillow tonight? I'm working up the kind of screams. I'm gonna need two pillows to drown out. Two. 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 Get her free. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I know what I'm doing now. I have to kill myself. Oh, we're going to tell uh, I the that, uh, Mr. Fandom. Someone said that no other fandom member would do this. No other fandom member would make this game. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, she would but... speak. I feel like if you were to look away, Mitsuru would just approach slowly. <laughs> I don't know if we should like speedrun Mitsuru's because I don't know about if there might be anything that might future events. Uh, nah, future events don't really. I can't hear you. Mitsuru or Fuka? Fuka. 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 Are you kidding me? Last night was too embarrassing. We don't want to talk yet. Oh. Can you take the gas mask off? I'm easing your anxieties through a fortune-telling journey by learning what your future has in store for you. You'll have no need to worry about it. West, your microphone is kind of being weird. It sounds. <laughs> I'm sorry. Is there, anything, is there anything you can do to fix it? Triple brown, triple brown now, triple brown, triple brown, triple brown now. It's possible it's screwing it up. 
Try turning it back to voice activity and trying it. than usual, actually. Thank you for taking the gas mask off. Uh, anyway, Fuka, you're gonna make me look like an absolute clown in front of Akutsuki San if I have to give him these cards back without actually having used them. I'm in enough pain. I had to deal with Yukari last night. Oh, oh, th these cards belong to Akutsuki San? Yes, they do. Uh, well, I guess it would hurt to try getting a work fortune reading then. I wouldn't want to hurt his feelings or yours, Akun. I'll give it my best effort. Thank you. In that case, let's begin. Pick a card, Fuka. Any card. Uh, that one? Hold on, I'm moving my mic closer so you can actually hear me better. A wise choice. This is the card that represents your past. Zero, the fool. Is that a lowercase zero? I see. Is it in attack or defense position? Neither at the moment. You see, the fool represents new beginnings and a sense of innocence in the world. I see. Since it's your past, I guess it must be talking about you being innocent, an innocent newborn. Was being a newborn a significant part of your life, Fuka? No. I, oh, I mean, I guess so. As I thought, the cards never lie. Now let's move on to the present. The card that encapsulates the current position of your life is... X I I I no I'm kidding. Thirteen. Death. Oh, oh, uh, what, what does that one mean? Honestly, I I'm not sure, but it sounds pretty scary. You better watch out. Now on to the future. The card that encapsulates what the future has in store for you is. <laughs> <laughs> Twelve. The hang. Someone explain man. this one. I, uh, I don't think I like the sound of that one. Me neither, actually. Let's pick another less deathy card. Oh, this one's good. Two. The magician. Two. Uh huh. Uh, what does that one mean? Well, it's actually pretty simple. Your future career is remarkably clear. In the coming years, your destiny will reveal itself. You're meant to become a professional magician. He's right, you know. I I should become a magician. Yes, and get out of my fucking sight. No, I'm kidding. The cards never lie. Okay, then. Sorry, I must sound ungrateful for the effort you've gone through for me. But I just 
really don't like thinking about the future. Oh man, that's a mood. <laughs> Cause thinking about it now has given me this tight, sick feeling in my stomach. You sure you don't just need to evacuate something? When I'm feeling sick, I was just walking into the school bathrooms, and about seven minutes later, I am a whole new person. N no, it's not like that. I'm not really sure where it's coming from. I'm not too good at understanding my emotions sometimes. M maybe I'm just thinking about what's going to happen after we're finished with the dark hour and fighting. You obviously won't be needing my persona after that. So, I think I'm just getting more and more worried that there won't be anything left I can use to help everyone. That's why I've been searching for something I can do for everyone outside of Bell. I thought that they might like having some homemade food when they're tired. And I don't mean to hurt your feelings, but I don't think I could really be that helpful as a magician, Ekun. Not with that attitude. But I'm sure with you helping me like you have been, I'll be able to get better at cooking. I'll, I just have to keep trying my hardest. Right, God. Oh, actually, now that I think about it, I guess I do kind of need the bathroom, actually. I guess the reason I felt sick had nothing to do with my emotions after all. Like I said, I'm really not that good at understanding how I feel sometimes. I guess you can probably just ignore most of what I've just said then. Okay. Uh, excuse me for a moment. Just say, learn what nothing at all. Wait, right <laughs> down! Smoko <laughs> <laughs> Yamakishi only. Ah, sorry about that. I'm back. Oh, but I guess I still feel kind of bad about not being able to help anyone else of battle. I guess there was more to it than just seeing to use the bathroom. I think. Sorry, I'm not good at speaking about my emotions at once. Make up your mind. We're so back! We're so back! <laughs> Wake up! Wake up? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love this game. Ten check. It's a Kuski huh? words. Never mind. You literally do social like with our yesterday. Uh, maybe Kuski's like. <laughs> Do we ever do Elizabeth things? I think we have. Okay. Two more right. days until I appear. <laughs> well, I mean, it's more like fourteen.
Nico. You can come here and I'll be a man. I've been waiting for a man. Alright, I thought that would be good enough warning for him to get in here, but I guess it wasn't. Akihiko! Delta! Too bad. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, I'm playing- I was playing on my phone. Give me a sec. Okay, okay. I'm up. Alright, uh, time for the next stage for the lesson, which is... Blue. Actually... Do we normally do at this point? I'm not sure. It's the first time I've been conscious this far into a lesson. Ah, <laughs> uh, sorry about that. I guess I'm feeling a little sick today, so my fighting performance may be slightly hindered. But it's nothing to worry about. Well, that's easy enough to fix. The easiest place to figure sickness is in the school bathrooms. I'll wait. God damn it! No, no. It's not like that. It's more of a... spiritual mental sickness. You see? I've been thinking lately. Yeah, That's crazy. It may be alleged... Wait, hold up. Hold a second. Racial paranoia that Mitsuri <laughs> claims I have. That's not the right word! That's as radical! <laughs> that's not the right I word! Can't. Racial paranoia! Keep going, keep going, keep going. You, had, going, like, going. you had a whole minute to... You had a whole minute to... <laughs> read that word. Sorry, this is my first time thinking. <laughs> <laughs> okay, 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 hold on, hold on. Oh, I had it sideways. Why does Delta always come up to the the, vo the voice acting shits high? <laughs> like, all okay, the time. Okay, okay. I'll say it again. It may be my alleged radical paranoia that Mitsuru claims I have, but... I'm starting to wonder if people think I'm strange. Well, it's certainly a possibility. Not that it bothers, bothers me much now. I've learned to accept that not everyone will fully be able to appreciate my manly stylings without some convincing. But, back when I was a kid, they tell me I was weird because I don't have any parents. Mm-hmm. Zinji would normally re reflect that kind of argument with something like, We're at an orphanage. We don't have any parents. Either, dumbass. But I'd prefer to show them how wrong they were with a few rounds of fighting. <laughs> that doesn't sound like it'll help your weird case much. Did Zinji pay you to say that? He definitely didn't pay me to deny it. Hmm. Well, anyways, I guess the orphanage wasn't all bad, though. That's where I met Zinji, and where I got into my first, got into my first fight. It was with a bunch of kids who thought screwing around with a dog made them cool. But me and my sister taught them a lesson. They wouldn't soon forget. The manly way. Uh, sister? You've never mentioned having a sister. Wait, I did? Oh! Well, that's because she's dead. Ah. <laughs> 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 Wait, what did he say? Why are you spiritually at? <laughs> oh my god. What just happened? <laughs> he predicted oh, the line again. Oh my god. He, he really is. He... We should change the subject. Good plan. Where's my sister? 
Oh, well, you've certainly made the orphanage sound appealing, more appealing than whatever the hell I was doing for the last ten orphany, orphany years. Oh, right. You don't have any parents either. And I'm a stronger person because of it, probably. Well, that's a valid way of looking to it. I never really knew my parents, so I have no reason to feel bad about their lack of ex existence. That word almost left my existence. <clears throat> but, I guess the in issue with that coping mechanism is that, is that it stops working when you actually did know the person. Uh, maybe I need a new one. That is so real. Ray, go! Wait, he's more than just protein? No way. Agile movements. Gives a small chance of... Fima! Apologies, eh? But... Would you mind if I cut this... Uh, cut today's lesson short? I'm having thoughts that... And they're hurting my head. I'm gonna Real. need to grab those eggs. Alright. I'm gonna have to end this, make this short. Knocks and Alan drags him back to the door. As, as, of, as of today, as of today, as of today, Akihiko cannot pronounce radical. You mean racial? <laughs> Next time it's gonna be radical. How good are we on time? I can go for his, for like another. We've only been here hour, for like an hour. Thirty to an 30 hour. Thirty minutes. Yeah. Okay, thirty minutes. Cool. Mm -hmm. I feel like I should after ask that school. question before we start. Is there is there anything I guess to say or no? <laughs> oh! He learned. He learned to go out then down. That's called character development. <laughs> One second, I no. gave you more. <laughs> no! Hey no, guys, machine. have you ever long. thought of what, what Junpei's doing ever since his social link was done? He's just been sitting in the fountain. Um, wait, no, 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 wait, no, I know, I got, no, I got, no, he's just no, no, been guys, sitting in guys, the fountain. Guys, guys, guys I got, I got leaked, um, a sound, I got leaked recording of what Junpei does, um, after this. No, game. no, do not play it, do not play that. Do play not, it. do not. Well, I swear to I God, if you play is. that, I'll fucking kill you. Play what? Delta, play. Delta, what is it? I actually don't know what the sound is. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't about. know. Bitchy's cool. Don't guess. do it. Do not do it. I don't even know. I actually completely forgot what sound you guys are even talking about. Okay, then we will not bring it up. All uh, I know is this one. You're, you're good. You're oblivious. Let's go anyway. with Mitsuru. Let's go with Mitsuru. What if we do this sound? No. No, that sounds for later. What? I, I actually kind of. I, oh, I honestly. But a coincidence that your classmate is the one I am only standing next to. Eh? Truly amazing. Now, be within my company. Bro, they were honestly, I, honestly, I completely forgot the sound effect that I'm like you guys are talking about. Yeah, you said that. Oh no! <laughs> An alpha is. Please calm down, Kirijo-san. I I really want to give you a piece of melon bread, but we just don't have any right now. That's so. Then how do you manage to sell out when your previously stated that I'm literally the only person who buys it anymore? Because we don't sell it anymore. We were just given instructions to have a few pieces of melon pan on standby specifically for you, directly from the Carijo group. You don't get that many each week, so when you buy all of them, they're gone. A simple solution then. Buy more. Ah! Mm. The competence of these people is truly dishandling sometimes. Do they not understand women's needs? What an impressive world. Real. 
Well, now that we sorted that out, are we going to head out and do the social hangout spot you mentioned? Hmm? We are really, we are really here. Oh, no. I can't pick it myself, as I'm sure you can tell. The perfect place for you to gather and at socially interact. I can but glare hatefully at the store worker and ensure that every student within the school witness witness me as they enter or leave the building at the same time. Plus, following exams, it's the perfect venue to watch the hairs of children snap and crumble as they mute a poor result. <clears throat> Don't you agree? I'd give it a solid 7 out of 10. I think there's a few places around the city which work better for social occasions. What is that supposed to mean? Generally speaking, I normally find myself talking to people in places like the mall or a restaurant. Not really up to me to decide, but I think those work better as places where you can casually talk. Not the middle of a school. I'm still not seeing your point. Isn't there somewhere more recreational you'd want to be right now, Senpai? Is this not recreational to you? No, I'm having a pretty magical time. Correct! Standing in this room is the one part of my day where I can truly unwin and relax. <clears throat> a temporary resting period between my brutal arrival at school and tiring return to the dormitory, a place where the mind can truly enter a zen like state. You do anything else with your day besides come to school, stand here after school, and go to the dorm? Mm. Of course I do. I'm a luxurious woman, full of many things. Student console, take a radio group, check in the door's mail. And oftentimes I write my back. Ah, I see your tricks now. Eh? Trying to gain insight into my hobbies before reaching that section of the miss. Mitsuru Kirisho Friendship Program. How despicable. Also, I respect your gumption. Consider this a step forward in the Friendship Program. This is gonna be a long social, I mean, friendship Wake program. Up. Friendship is cool. Crazy cat. Huh? It said ha dorm, however, dot dot dot. What's up, dude? I guess you sound different. What's up, dude? Oh my god, my grandma's smoking weed right now. Dude, I left my laundry in the washing machine for two hours. Oh. <clears throat> Oh, hi. Eh, cool. You're <laughs> you little piece of. You're the one who drew point. Is that it? Wasn't drawing porn actually? It was writing porn. You're the one this who wrote. Big po difference. Why are y'all talking person. about porn, you fucking gooners? Hell, nerd. That's what he does. Ken, Ken, does he know? Look me. I see Natsuki up there. Fucker. What? What? Is it? Excuse no, me? no, I'm just. No, that's I'm... he left. She's no longer here. She's gone. Oh yeah. No, I don't get to yeah, do the fake person. anymore. Fuck. The ghosts of Natsuki passed. Do we have a uh, Rio Zelda? So we'll skip on her today. So, uh, do we have a Yuko? I believe that was also Zelda. Mm, I think it was Shadow of Life been a while ago, but I don't know where they are. Haven't been around for 
Fuko or Akihiko? Um, fusion dance. Oh, you and I both have a bag of chips, I see. <laughs> oh. Oh, I actually need to lock in with this one. <laughs> well, it's been a while since we since we last had a lesson like this. But I suppose we've both been busy with our own training. <laughs> with our own training. <laughs> And our own morning. These are complex times. We literally met up yesterday. What just what yesterday? You don't seem as aggressive as normal, Senpai. In fact, I'd go as far to say you're sad. Hmm. Well, I suppose you could say I'm a little bummed out over the fertility of most aspects of my life. Whoa, whoa. Not Wait, the right fucking... word again, Senpai, I but can't uh, read! it's like my parents always said, it's okay to cry sometimes. I didn't bring the eggs either. <clears throat> anyways, that's the anyways, that's less important. I've told you about my sister before, right? Miki? I know she's dead. It's been years, but I still remember her well. She fought like a champion. In all my years, i never seen anyone bring as much manly energy into the ring as she did. Her strength was unbelievable. She was younger than me, but I could barely keep up during our practice max matches. In fact, one time she punched me in the face so hard she gave me a cut that is that was so deep that it never that it never healed. Even now, I have to cover it up with a bandage to stop the bleeding. Oh, so that's what that's for. Yeah. <laughs> she understood the true essence of manliness better than I do. I swore that I'd always have her back. No matter what kind of battle it was. But even with that, I was still powerless to save her. With all the with all the manly energy in the world, I still would have been completely helpless to do anything. I mean, have you ever tried to punch a fire? Eh? It hurts! I know that she's dead and gone. I've accepted that. And, of course, I'm still gonna do my best to keep moving forward, like I tell everyone else to do. But, I can't do anything with about the anger and sadness I feel. I'll never be able to forget the searing pain I felt on my fist as I punched that fire. I have to live with this for the rest of my life. Well, anyway, that was a good talk, eh? I'm going to call an end of today's lesson earlier than normal. But you should always keep on training. Anyways, look for more more limitlessness in your life. If you need me for any advice, I'll be lying in a ditch. <laughs> you gained the ability trauma dumping. You tried to punch the fire. <laughs> we didn't start the fire.
Oh man, finally there's. Oh man, finally there. Oh man, finally there. Oh, oh hombre, boy, finalmente. Boy. Oh, oh man, finally there. That's the uh, one. Look, the joke joke's over, guys. He ruined it. Oh, oh man, not finally. Man, men. It's Jim Pay really? over. Can we have the broken mic skeleton? It's he over. No, because I am dead. Damn. You slayed me. Uh, 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 I'm in hell with Jinji! How's he doing? He kind of won't even talk to me. <laughs> Have you tried I, fighting I, him? I'm trying to share with him my, my new book ideas, and, and he's just telling me to, to get a real job! And I'm telling him it's a real job! I hate you. There's he's jobs in hell? And screaming. Uga, who summoned the damn demons again? Sorry guys, this guide said like how to uh, summon this new Pokemon. This guide said how to uh... What?! Antagonize it. Chat, ban this man. Oh no. Uh oh. Ew. Uh, uh oh. <clears throat> Do you mind? Um, what are you doing here? It's not obvious. The same thing I do every lunch break. Drinking my midday brooding coffee and standing here so I can learn menacy all the students I don't like. Like you. Oh. So, as you can see, I'm busy. So, go buy some more stupid big pink clothing, or whatever it is you do in your free time, Cowar. Sorry, I decided I looked a little troubled. And, and I'm not allowed to be troubled? Perhaps the real dictator of seas is you, and I have merely been made into a scapegoat by the masses with a cruel trick you on your path you carry it. Thank you. Oh, so it's still the leadership thing that bothers you then? Perhaps. But I'm a... But I'm a beautiful Bountiful. woman. Yeah. Bountiful. Bothered by many, many things. <clears throat> a mere wormy child could not grasp the sheer amount of things that make me upset and, and anxious. <laughs> uh, so, is it anything? Is it anything? You want to talk about? I mean, we're, we're friends, right? After everything we've been through? Mm, no. I describe our relationship as being somewhere between the... The fact that I breathe the same atmosphere as you mainly annoys me, and the fact that I breathe the same atmosphere as you ruins my day every time I think about it. Well, there's nothing stopping. If you are so persistent of on bothering me, then the least you can do is start holding my coffee while you talk. As I was saying, our last operation's coming up soon, right? It's been a long battle, huh? My battle was longer. I had my personal long into all of you. I, I guess so. But that, uh, that reminds me. Why did you start fighting anyway? No offense, but you don't seem like a selfless fight to protect humanity type of person. Does pure spite and malice motivate you in combat as well? 
a wise deduction in by your standards, Takeba. Yes, I suppose I'm driven by a deep-seated desire to inflict suffering upon those who have worn around me. But of course, as has been established, I am I'm I'm a benevolent figure. I also simply wish to see the world freed from the sins my ancestors were respons responsible for. And if that means I whip a few people or use them as stepping stones to achieve my goals, then so be it. The foolish masses cannot be trusted regardless. Uh huh. As a uh, super villain ask as always, Senpai. Well, at least you got something. In my case, I don't really know what I'm fighting for anymore, to be honest. Can't get you anymore. I learned the truth from my about my dad, so it kind of feels like I'm the only one for the ride. I was thinking kind of like I was erasing some sort of mistakes he left behind, but I... I don't know. <clears throat> I see. Well, good luck with that, Takeba. Nice conversation today. I've decided I still hate you, but a lovely talk regardless. Hey, do you want to at least take your coffee with you? Monsieur Senpai? <laughs> Why do I bother? And why am I gonna keep bothering? The sexual tension is crazy. That's fucking crazy. And I thought I had the most hateful woman for a oh. wife. <laughs> Shut up. Thank you. We should, we should exercise him. <laughs> Don't want to hear it. Fucking hell, man. Fucking yeah, hell, we man. have time. Just said a we kindly. have time. We have time. We have time. We have time. Michael. You have got time. We got time. Why me? Yeah, no, I've got time. What? Is that a duck? What in the <laughs> South Island? Do you recall the last time we gathered to get in this fashion? The way you attempt to deceive me into permanently revealing some of the deeper personal aspect aspects of my life. Well, I am, I am not foolish enough for, to, to fall for such basic, basic trickery. I realize that I really appreciate the eagerness you've shown. So now I am willingly falling for such trickery. It's very different than doing it by accident. Hooray! Oh, I'd like to tell you about one of my interests today. On this sheet lies one of my most precise possessions. A testament to my achievements, a symbol of my personality, a prize worthy of my great strengths. I try to keep this particular pastime of mine somewhat private. But seeing as you are the second most competent person working within C's, perhaps you can be trusted with the information. You can be trusted, correct? Probably. Excellent. And allow me to reveal to you the embodiment of my true self. This is Persona 4 reference. Oh, it's just the bike. Just a bike? I willingly bear my soul to a mere level 2 citizen like yourself, and it's ju just a bike to you? No, I just assume I was supposed to have already known you liked riding it. 
I mean, that one time the shadows broke it and you started crying was pretty memorable, wasn't it? You started crying, and then I started crying, then Junpei started crying. And once three people start crying, then everyone starts crying. As far as all, all history is concerned, that even event never happened. As you can see, Takima uh, reattached the chain. There is no evidence that the event occurred. Stop imagining things, coward. Oh. As I was saying, this is my bicycle, or bike, as laymen might call it. I frequently use it to traverse the city. The city, I guess you could call it my hobby. However, I frequently use it as a means of transportation. <coughs> wow, hey, I would have thought cycling would be kind of thing only reserved for level one and two citizens. It may seem that way to, to to encounter low class, but this is a vehicle reserved to only for those of of a higher society. The mere ship of the public blind, blindly follow one another onto trains and buses like well ship. Whilst I am carving my own path with the world on my own two wheels. Real strength and independence can only truly be experienced while cycling. Public trust is but a torch for the spineless. Isn't taking a monorail the only way we get to our school every day? Well, yes, but it's foolish to assume that such a thing interrupts my cycling pro program. You just ride your bike on the monorail? <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> I can balance remarkably well on a stationary bicycle. Oh. <laughs> I right, took it up and it did it again. <laughs> you know, the first one, it's like it's just an odd, but this one is a whole sentence. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Perhaps one day I'll allow you to join me on one of my cycling conquest, conquest to and from the dorm. I'd love to, Senpai, but unfortunately I don't own a bike. Excuse me, of Takiba back in the days when she carried my things for me. You can learn to run. Okay. Okay, I think that's uh that's it for nine. Yeah, sounds uh, good to me. Sounds good to me. And just like that, can has been ignored okay. again. <laughs>